For the first time since 2005, the Vikings draft an edge rusher in the first round, and it's just a fun new addition for Vikings defensive coordinator Brian Flores. Kevin has talked so much about the collaboration you two have when it comes to making these draft picks. So what did you like so much about Dallas Turner? I mean, that was really more what, what didn't we like. like uh, this is obviously very, very talented, uh, but – I mean, there's traits and tangibles, uh, acumen with, with this young man that uh, we really, we really, um, you know, coveted. Uh, and quite honestly, you know, we didn't think, or I didn't think, I don't want to speak for everybody else, I didn't think he was going to be available uh, to us. Um, you know, possibly not at 11 and certainly not at, right. at, at uh, 23. So, yeah. you know, us being able to get up and get him was um, a huge get for us, and we're really excited to work with him. I'm not sure how much you've seen of Kevin's reaction online <laughs> about what, you know, his, his shock, like, really? We got him? What was your reaction when Quasey was like, we're going to get him? Um, you know, I was similar to, 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 to KO. I was, there was a little bit of shock, like, yeah. you know, from, from, from my standpoint. Eyes got big. <laughs> Eyes got big. You know, I immediately started, you know, once we got him, I'm, I'm starting drawing plays. And, oh, yeah, you know, how okay. Do we, how do we, you know, we got to move this and hang, you know, we can do this and this and this. Wow. Uh, so, um, I, don't, I would say sh I, uh, excitement, excitement is probably yeah. the word. Um, and, uh, again, there, there was, we didn't think he was going to be there. I certainly didn't think he was going to be there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to get a player of that caliber, mm -hmm. um, and not just a, the talent. I mean, this, you know, Dallas has some, uh, a mature, professional mm -hmm. uh, approach that, that, that leads you to believe he's going to make the most of every opportunity that's presented to him. What was the first play you drew down? I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Not going to. Not going to show any cards. Not to. Okay. Not going to show any cards. How? He's, uh, rush, he's rushing off the edge. Rushing off the yeah, edge. Yeah. Well, he. Well, he's so versatile. <laughs> I mean, you, you've got a guy, and you. You like a player. Who can do multiple things? Yes, very you know much he so. can drop in coverage. Mm -hmm. You can rush him from the inside, the outside. He's used to all of that. Yep. And I guess what I wanted to know is, what are you most excited about specifically with that versatility to like dig into? Uh, I, I like it in conjunction with some of the other players we have. Really, and that's really what um, what I was thinking about, okay. and what I've been thinking about, what our staff's been thinking about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Dallas in conjunction with Jonathan Grenard and Van Ginkle and Metellus and Harrison Smith and Harrison Phillips and, you know, different groups that you can put out uh, on the field in different situations. So um, that's kind of, you know, what the next, I would say, few weeks are going to look like. And, uh, you know, when we'll get him in here in rookie minicamp, we'll start the process of, of teaching him the system. And, um, and we'll find out how much, you know, he can handle, and we'll give him as much as he can handle, um, but always try to put him in best positions to do what he, do, he does best. Being one of the top edge rushers in the draft, obviously he's been, the tape has been talked about so much yeah. out uh, by so many experts and, and coaching staffs, mm -hmm. right? So what is something about Dallas Turner that maybe no one has said that really stuck out to you? Um... This won't be specific to the tape. Okay. This will be more specific to his football acumen. Okay. Um, when you sit down and you meet with Dallas and you, you, you hear his process throughout a week, um, how he studies offensive linemen, how he understands situations in the game, uh, that was, uh, you know, one of the things that was very intriguing to me mm -hmm. uh, and our staff. Uh, you know, Pat and I were just talking about or talking to his parents about it, mm -hmm. um, about how uh, 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 the professional approach he took, you know, while he was at Bama to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, prepare, and, and that's what led that led to the success he had, um, along with being a super talented player. So um, there's a lot of things he does well in the field, um, but you never really know that side of a player until you sit down and talk to him. Was that something that you realized when he was here for his visit? Yes. Well, uh, we saw him at the Combine as well. So okay. uh, between those two interactions, mm -hmm. it, was, it was clear to us, clear to me, that you know, this is somebody who um, you know, is going to do everything he can possibly do to develop 
both on the field and off. And that's normally what it takes for, for a player to reach his, his, his okay. optimum level. His head coach from Alabama, Nick Saban, mm -hmm. he described him as relentless. How does that fit well into the system that you run? Uh, he's fast, he's physical. Um, he's consistently running to the ball and trying to wreak havoc on mm -hmm. whoever has it. Um, and that is, that is, that's Coach Saban's system as well. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the players that have come out of that system, um, you know, do a great job, you know, as far as understanding the game, understanding situations, um, and then playing fast. Uh, and Dallas is certainly has, he does those things. He's obviously very athletically gifted. Yeah. Um, I think Pete Bursich was just in here joking about how he has a size 15 shoe and a triple XL glove. So he is just, <laughs> he's, he's just athletically gifted. When you, obviously you've coached a lot of guys in your career who are just top-notch talent. When you look at Dallas and, and his intangibles and just and everything about him, is, does he remind you of anyone that you've coached? Yeah, I was asked this uh, recently. Uh, uh, the name that comes to mind, and he was another Alabama player, is Dante Hightower. Mm -hmm. um, big, fast, physical, um, great traits and intangibles, leadership. Um, that's the name that, that comes to mind. I would say he's probably a little faster than Hightower. Oh, yeah. okay. He's going to like to hear that. I asked him about yeah. that comp, and he really liked that. <laughs> yeah. He thought uh, it was a big honor to be compared yeah. to someone who is such a legendary mm. Alabama linebacker like that. Yeah. And now with him paired with a lot of the new names that you've mentioned, Grenard, Van Ginkle, you've got Cashman and Pace, and you've got all mm -hmm. these guys that you're ready to just kind of scheme up. Um, how do you make sure that he that you that you can mesh these guys in all together? I know I know you've got a I've probably got a secret sauce to that. So what what would that be? Well, I mean, it starts with the guys. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think I think the camaraderie that's built in the locker room. You know, it, it happens in meetings and walkthrough and practice, but it it happens off the field as well. Mm -hmm. um, so he's already had several guys, or I've had guys call me and say, "Hey, can you send me his number?" That's great. You know, so they can start that 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 process of of uh, of of giving him the guidance and wisdom that a veteran player should give a, a young player. Um, and that's one of the great things about you know this 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 place is, um, you know, these guys they remember what it was like to be a rookie, um, and. You know, most guys who've had success had somebody uh, lead the way for them, show them how to you know, take care of their bodies, meet, watch film, you know, have a good time off the field. Because mm -hmm. um, all of that is part of, 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 of this game and this great game that we all love. So um, as far as putting all that together, uh, you know, we got a great staff and um, everyone's kind of you know, has some input and collaborate. Mm -hmm. It's a collaborative effort to uh, try to get these guys in the best possible positions to do what they do well. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll integrate, you know, yeah. Dallas uh, as quickly as we can. Uh, but he's, you know, like any, any rookie, his role is going to be up to him. What do you hope to see from those, uh, from those picks, from, from any guys that you want to put onto the roster who want you to draft? Because I'm also thinking of, down the line when you go undrafted free agents here yeah. is when you struck gold last year. So, so what do you hope to get from these guys coming in this weekend? I think young players in, in, in this league, uh, they've got to be willing to um, do the things that they have to do to develop. Um, they got to take advantage of their opportunities when, they, when they're presented to them. So guys who, um, who want to put in the work, who want to prepare, who want to do the extras, those are the guys who who normally find a way mm -hmm. to, you know, uh, get a rep. They jump right in there to get a rep in practice. They do something with it, and that's how you earn, you know. Okay. That's what yeah. we tell them. Hey, you get in there and you perform, you're going to get more reps. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, two reps turns to four, four reps turns to eight. Next thing you know, they're playing in a game. You make a play, and next thing you know, it's Ivan Pace. <laughs> so, and that's kind of how that happens, and that's what we – you know, that's the message that they're hearing from me. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't care if you're in the first round or third round or seventh round or undrafted. Um, if you take care, if you take advantage of your opportunities, 
um, you'll have an opportunity to, to, to carve out a role for yourself on this team. So that's, that's the message. And I'm looking for guys who, yeah. who will do that, want to do that. Any need in particular you're hoping to see get drafted or signed this weekend? Uh, need? What? <laughs> Putting you on yeah. the spot, Coach. I didn't. I didn't think I'd get a full answer. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let me. I mean, no, you're not going to get a full answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of knew these kind of things, but I'm like, what yeah. are you going to say? Yeah. Um, you're not going to get a full answer. Sure. But look, any player that um, at any position that that's going to come in and and mm -hmm. find a way to help the team in whatever way, shape, or form, you know. Well, I think Vikings fans share your excitement for this year's defense. We saw what you guys did last year, and now you've got even more talent on this team, and we are, we are certainly pumped, and wish you the best of luck this weekend. Great. Thank you. Thanks for your time. All right.